How's it going, dudes and dudettes? My name is Fox Soul. Welcome back to the channel. I know it ain't peak of combat, but this is no rest for the wicked. Something I would like to see about recording and putting up on the channel. This is a game that I have so far played a little bit of here and there. Been enjoying the shit out of it, to be completely honest. So I decided to go ahead and delete my character, restart a new character, which we're going to call Guts. Because this is a Souls-like experience, and it's been fun. Now, I'm going to straight up say that the customization on this is a little, a little lackluster because you're going to see I have brown eyebrows, but those brown eyebrows are going to stay no matter if I change my hairstyle, you know, to this black hairstyle like I want. But, hey, it is what it is. I'm not going to be able to do the eyes like the way I want to either, which is going to be kind of a sad part. But, hey, we're going to try to make ourselves a Guts character as possibly can. Because if you know me for some time, I do enjoy Soul-like games. Uh, Lords of the Fallen was one of the few games here. Look, there's our world right here. Let's go ahead and delete that world. Yes. We're going to create a new world. We're going to call it Berserk. Because you know why? I am a major Berserk fan, and that is what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and you know, create the realm and continue onwards. I'm going to shut up for right now. We're going to talk after this cutscene so that way you guys can get, you know, the full blown story. Um, God told me stories. Said the pestilence turned men's faces inside out. Made them grow limbs where none should be. But the world was nearly lost in its wake. And she prayed. The serum would never need to return. We should turn back while we still can. It's an island, not a fairy tale. Uh, this is a fool's errand. There's no sum worth bringing the likes of them to shore. And there we are. Now, if you uh, know me from Lords of the Fallen, this Lords of the Fallen was a game that I played a tremendous amount of. I did enjoy it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. And then game developers did some things to that game, which made made enjoying it a lot less feasible. Because everything that we tried to do in that game, I swear everything we tried doing in that game, they, they did on purpose to piss us off. Yep, I'm going to go up. This is like my third, this is like maybe like seven hours into it, me testing out a couple of things because one thing about this game, it has some performance issues. Now, with the recent update that happened yesterday uh, on this game, I got to say, performance wise, the game's operating a lot, a lot, a lot more smoother. It's operating a lot better. You put the men on edge, sir. We've trafficked in people. I won't be sorry to be out of these waters. I was paid to deliver you to Sakura in one piece. And I will. But get to your quarters and stay out of our way till landfall. At least from a top right here, I can't see fucking uh, Guts' fucking brown eyebrows with his black hair. But he does look good. The character does look good from afar, so. 
We need to get to the lower decks, go do all this. I want to see something. Because I've noticed one thing about this game is that there has been... This is like the third world that I created. And it is completely random in some cases, it seems like. Of like what your starting weapon's going to be. So I'm hoping that we're going to get the Claymore. I doubt we're going to get it. We got the Claymore hey, once. Hello, help with meal. Yep, help with meal. Guts always here to help. Yep, give me my food. Let's beat up some of these barrels here because sometimes they drop some stuff. Anything dropped? Darn, nothing. Nothing dropped. All right. Thank you, Wart. So appreciate it, buddy. But before we do that, we're going to beat the crap out of here. Oh, there we go. Get some money. More money. An apple. Shit, that probably can't even take with me, to be honest. All right, that's good. Let's go to sleep and let's get the story started. Actually, kind of looks more like Ash Williams, like Bruce Campbell from that far. The hell? Well, that's the first time I've seen the head like that, like just shove up on a black screen. But this is when holy hell breaks loose. I'm going to speed through this because I do notice a this part so let's go ahead get our sword going and let's get into a fight so we have our stand in my bar we do have parries in this game like you just see I messed my parries. It's fine. We'll slice them in half. We don't need that shield. Guts don't wear no damn shield. Guts ain't no wussy. Nah, uh, like I used to play the crap out of Lords of the Fallen and Dark Souls like games like Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3. So I do love my... I do love my Souls like games. I, I love Liza P until they did some updates to that game to make that game feel a lot worse than what it should be, in my personal opinion. Like Liza P, the dodging now, I don't understand it, but the dodging in that does not feel good at all. It used to feel good in the vanilla version of it. And I've been trying to find a way to see if there's any possibility of bringing back the vanilla version before the updates because that game legitimately I would love to play it again I just can't stand the dodging in it I really can't I'm not sure if we get to keep all the stuff when we leave doubt it I thought I was destructible it's not destructible You gotta judge distance. Come on.
I wish there would be more of a tat tail sign of the exact moment when I got a parry. But it's fine. I was supposed to backstab him, but I didn't. It's death. He dies. Oh, poor work dead. Whatever. Don't care. Get the fuck off the ship. So yeah, like I said, uh, used to play a lot of, you know, Souls-like and game experiences and they been great for the most part. And when it comes to this game, I will say that there has been some optimization issues. I'm, we haven't ran into them much now, but compared to Lords of the Fallen, it's run a lot much it's run much, much greater. Lords of Fallen, dude, I remember. When that game first came out, that was some shit. Because the PC version was so unoptimized. I had to return that game on Steam, buy the PS5 version just to be able to play Lords of Fall because I was that interested in it. It was like, God damn. The PC version, I had a fucking 3090 in the fucking system and everything. No, 3070, excuse me. 3070 in my fucking system and everything and it was just running piss fucking poor. These guys out. Come on, attack him. Don't let him live. Oh. That's a dumbass crew member that just died for no reason because he should have just attacked when he was supposed to. But no, just go ahead. Let's just lightly go ahead and attack. Okay, let's go ahead and finish this guy off too. Boy, my stamina is... Super fucking small. It's one thing I noticed about this. When we start upgrading our character, we're gonna have to put in some stamina in here so that way we're able to dodge more. Fuck I like the pair, bitch. Ow. Coming up. Coming up. Come on. Come on, bitch. Slice you in half. Ah, ragdoll physics. I can love it. Now, I'm gonna apologize to all my people out there that wants me to play fucking, you know, peek me cry over there. Wallet me cry. I'm gonna tell you the real reason why I have not touched that game uh, for, you know, wallet me cry, why I have not actually touched it as much in the most recent time. It's just because honestly, the game is boring. There's really not much new that I've noticed with that game. Yeah, they gave, they gave us a new Dante, but now the reroll that what it's rerolling right now. Uh, fucking um, Count Thunder now. I don't know. I, I I just feel like the game was really rushed to get out to the public versus what it should have been. And that's just, you know, just what it is. Like, I was enjoying it. I was expecting more from that. And it just hasn't really happened.
our little mini boss here. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, you ain't killing me, bitch. I'll slice your fucking leg off. Hate this. Should have eaten that. Just realized I should not have eaten that. Because we're already at this part. It's too late for any of us. I tell you what, this does look and feel like a berserk fucking style game that I seriously. Uh, they would have a dragon slayer in here. We would it would be totally fucking better. All right, let's see this cutscene. So, it's true. The king is dead. Long live the king. He was a great man, and a good friend. I, I will mourn him. We will all mourn him. Your father's soul is at rest now, King Magnus. The people look to you for strength. I offer my condolences, and my counsel. As I did for your father for The Great years. Pestilence has returned, Lord Bowers. Uh, yes, I have heard the rumors. They're not rumors. Even now, it ravages the island of Sacra just off our own shores, turning their men and women into unspeakable things. The Pestilence is a punishment upon those who have lost their faith. Is it now? How convenient. You question the church. You're not the church, Madrigal. You're just the tip of its spear. Enough. Whatever the cause of this sickness, I cannot allow it to spread. My father has been weak for many years. I will begin my reign doing what he could not. My king, you are grieving. I must recommend against anything. It's already done. Tomorrow, Madrigal Selene and her Inquisition will set sail for Sacra. I promise we will cleanse the island of this wickedness. Our new king's faith in the church is well placed. Our king's faith was never in question. Ellsworth is a strong ruler, your grace. Sacra will recover. No. Sacra will be reborn. This is my responsibility to the kingdom. With God's hands, we will reach into every corner of the island and bring it like a newborn babe. Screaming into the light. And now we begin our actual fucking journey. Oh boy. No, y'all tell me though. Before we continue on my normal story here, you tell me if this is something y'all like to see. Because this is something I'm looking at live streaming on the channel. I want to do a recording just to get, you know, perspective of people's and their thought pattern on it. While we get while we crush ourselves with fucking crabs against us some deck damn crab legs. Come on, 
I don't think I kept anything. No, but I did keep the money. Okay. We lost everything else. Hello, sir. You don't look too good. Should have never brought you on board. You'll never make it to Sacrament from here. This coast is crawling. Oh. Yeah, the crowd had risen, all that good stuff, you die. Alright, good. Bye bye. Now, one thing which I don't like about this game, in a sense, is that any world that you create, your starting weapon is straight up random. You don't know what you're going to get. So, the first time we played this, and the reason why we went to Guts is because we had to clay more. Now we got this sword, and then the other time we had a dagger. This used to be closer here. So each world, it seems like the loot becomes different. So hopefully we'll find a claymore. We're now on our journey as a mercenary, trying to survive against the fucking temptations of the devil. Of all these demonic fuckers. And I think that it's actually pretty good. I'm gonna get this out of the way. Give me that crab leg. We're gonna need crab legs later. We're gonna explore more in this area here later. Just trying to see. Nope, nothing there. Okay. Anything up here, maybe? Don't look like it. We got pine planks. Alright, let's continue onwards. So. Loot and everything else is completely different. So you're not going to be playing the same game as me, per se. So if someone else plays this game right now and you do your own world and everything, you may get a sword here, you may get daggers here, you may get claymore, you may get this type of loot. Because we found clothes in the last one. Early on. When we go into that water. And now we found whatever the hell that... That crap was uh, uh let's see give me the axe because we got tools for us to cut down trees and stuff like that so yeah there's also like a little bit of a mining experience and here's our bonfire the whisper over here ow Oh well. Some bitch killed me. Welcome to the Souls like experience, boys and girls. I'm gonna get his ass. What we need to do is cook. And if I'm not mistaken, bonfire right here. We can should be able to cook, right? Alright. Alright, let's go. Oh, chest. Chest, 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 chest. All right. Take that. Cook me up some more stews. So yeah, that like that I gotta admit that that's actually something I'm not sure if I like too much. Maybe it's good for some people out there, but. Like, everything's completely random in that regard. So when you start a world, your world is your world. This is a game that I kind of wish would have multiplayer in it. I think it would be fun to play this with some friends. That's a reach on that fucker. All 
All right, he's dead. All right, what's in this chest? Crow's ring, uh, gain two health on damage dealt. Health decreased by 29%. Fucking equipped it for right now. We only lose 29% of our health, our max health. That's fine. There's no healing. There's no healing off the bonfire? No! Let's go this way. Doesn't look like I can climb up there. Oh, it's a balance beam. Okay. There's a chest there. Hopefully we can find our damn claymore. Okay, so we can jump off the beam. Okay. So. Copper ore and money. Let's put some good clothes for right now. Split you from here to ice, I will. Bros, you have no idea. I'm just going to speed run through this shit. Oh boy, it's lagging. There's my optimization issues there. What you expect? Like, at least these devs are actually putting work into it as it's going, so I do appreciate that. Okay, I think this is actually a good, a good stopping point, to be honest. We kind of sped around through this right here. And the only reason why I was doing that was just, just so we, we can make some progress, because we have done this a couple of times. We're we'll going to go ahead and level up. I want to put more into strength, I think. Let's put one into strength. We definitely need a stamina, and then we're going to do, we're going to do a balance on this. Let's balance out those three areas. Okay. So yeah, if you did enjoy this so far, let me know in the comments below. That'd be great. Um, I've been having a blast with this game. I mean, it's kind of sucks now that when we redid the world, as you know, realizing that items are no longer in the same spot that they were before kind of sucks. But hey. It's what it is. Goddamn mushroom motherfucker! Trying to fucking end the video, goddamn it. Oh, what you gave me? I can't use that. The oh, fuck kind of closes this. Fuck it. We'll wear it. We need the gate lever key. So, alrighty. No, I think that's gonna be it for right now. Just let me know in the comments below everything else, all that good shit, shit and jazz. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next episode of Lord.
for the wicket. So, take it easy and have a good one.